One of the things we look at in this portion of the exhibition is um, FDR's attendance at key wartime conferences. He went to a number of conferences during the war, but arguably uh, the two most important were the Tehran Conference in 1943 and the Yalta Conference in 1945. At Tehran and at Yalta, he met with the so-called Big Three, Winston Churchill, Joseph Stalin, and of course, Roosevelt. Long before the end of the war, FDR is already thinking about the post-war period. So in November of 1943, when he journeys to Tehran for this conference, he is, uh, has several important things on the agenda. One of them is trying to ensure that his partners uh, in the Allied uh, coalition will sign on to the idea of a post-war organization, what becomes the United Nations, uh, that he hopes will prevent the outbreak of a third world war. Um, and one of the interesting documents we have on display here is actually uh, a little sketch that FDR made uh, at the Tehran conference in 1943. This is in his handwriting and an aide uh, later saved this little sketch. Um, and in this drawing you can see in FDR's own uh, writing a real kind of broad broke sketch of what he, uh, what he thought the United Nations might be. It starts on the left here with the little circle marked 40 UN. That represented the 40 nations that at that time were in the United Nations coalition that, was, that were fighting the Axis powers. And this sort of represents the idea of what becomes the UN General Assembly. Uh, in the center, you have so, uh, something marked Executive Committee. And this is really the, um, the full-time staff of what would become the United Nations, uh, the Secretariat. And then the last circle, which is marked for police, is Roosevelt's conception of what he thought of as the four policemen or what became the Security Council of the United Nations. Um, the four police that Roosevelt had in mind were the United States, Great Britain, the Soviet Union, and the fourth country was going to be China, which he felt was an up-and-coming power and deserving of being among the four policemen or the Security Council of the United Nations. So there, in sort of broad stroke, the, the, the ideas that he's kicking around in his mind for this post-war organization. Again, I think it's very telling that Roosevelt's thinking so far ahead. I mean, this is 1943, the war is far from over, but he's already thinking beyond the horizon, thinking about what comes after the war.